These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? I feel like I owe a little bit of an apology to everybody, uh, but especially Tony B, because what we're going to be reviewing today is the Tony B. It's the Pulse 0.5 AIO. It's his sort of I don't want to say entry level, but somewhat entry level sort of mod into the Boro billet box type of world. And I feel bad because this arrived honestly months ago, probably two months ago. It arrived in a vlog. I thought, hey, there it is. It's cool. I, I immediately started using it. I threw a, a, a bridge in here. I threw a battery in here and I just started using it and I used it for about three to four days till I got completely sidetracked. I took the bridge out, I, re I rinsed it, I set this to the side and I kind of have not touched it since. And it's just been sitting here in my office, like looking at me going, hey, Hey, it's the Pulse Point 5. Hey, I managed to swap out the panels to these cool panels that I got with my kit and I managed to swap out the button as well to the round button because it comes with a square button, but that's as far as we've got on this. So I'm gonna take some extra special time today. We're gonna go all through the Pulse Point 5. We're gonna build the vessel that comes with it. We're gonna use the coil head base tank that comes with it as well. Let's get down to the desk. Let's do some hot uppy closey time. I'll meet you back up here. We'll hand out some banana stickers. So in addition to the pulse that I got with these really slick doors that I don't know where exactly they came from, but in addition to that, this dark pulse that's hard to see on my desk, I also got a vessel. I believe this is the same exact vessel RBA from the original Pulse, and that's fine because we're going to build it right now. I think the vessel was a good RBA. I also got the coil head based vessel, and I also got two additional coil heads. These are just press fit in. Your airflow just pops off of two O-rings, and then this is press fit as well. <laughs> just like that, easily comes out, easily goes back in. It just sits on O-rings. They give you a little resistance and wattage on there. Not too bad. Uh, square button. It all comes apart. It's easy to remove. There's four screws. You can swap out the buttons. We've all seen this happen before on the old Pulse. I did also receive a USB-C cable, spare 0.6 ohm coil head, a graduated coil cutting tool, and a bag of spares, including a tool in there for getting the locking nut off the top of the Pulse. And then that super dorky Pulse, uh, pulse drip tip there. All right, let's get these panels off of here. And yeah, if you know, I mean, I, I do not know where these panels uh, came from, may have come from. It looks like somebody spent a lot of time and made some pretty cool panels and I feel like a complete dick not giving any proper credit. There's the round button. There's the four screws you can use to remove this. I'm just going to leave the round button on there because I like these panels so, so much more than like the stock black, matte black panels. That is, that is a boring little cube deck of cards there. Give me all the fancy panels. So we got a 21700. Here's where your Boro is going to go. It still does feel like it's mostly made out of plastic. It feels maybe a little bit stronger, a little bit more reinforced. One thing that I understand is they reinforced, completely reinforced the top of this. The problem that people were running into is when they were screwing their locking nuts down, they were getting, whoops, cracks up here. All right, let's get into this vessel and let's just build it real quick. There is an airflow sort of threaded ring on the bottom. We're going to take that off because there's your 510 threads right there, which means I can just attach this to any 510. We can get this built. Yeah, it's a little, a little single coil banger, a little cradle of airflow right there. The liquid drips down from the top in the vessel. So we're going to stash our wicks to the side and make sure there's enough space. We've done this before. Going to be throwing a KV small tricor alien in here should come out. I, th I think it's going to be like a 0.2 right on the nose. It should work perfect. I love the 510 threading on the bottom of the vessel. All I did was clip my leads to five millimeters, dropped them right down in there. Flathead screws make it pretty easy. And five millimeters, honestly, this coil is hovering flawlessly above this airflow right now. Now, I think I'm going to cut my cotton at the edge of the outer part of the boro, the boro of the RBA. You know what I mean? The outside of the deck here. I'm just going to leave it maybe a little bit longer than I normally would. And then we're going to try the best we can to get these thumbed in here. I'm not going to do any thinning. Yes, the thumb. It's the ultimate and it works great. That is exactly what I wanted. I wanted the bottom of my wicks touching the bottom of the deck. There's no liquid coming from the bottom. It's all coming down from the top. You can look here in the top of the chimney and see 
see one, two, three, four holes for liquid to drip down. The liquid du jour today. Nicely done. Just want to get those wet enough, you know. Now, this newest vessel is not any different from the other vessel. It's still just held together with pressure. These O-rings on the bottom do not... Oh! Oh, okay, maybe they're grabbing a little bit, but they don't. I wouldn't rely on those to kind of hold this together. This is going to be held together with sandwich pressure, <laughs> sandwich pressure from the pulse itself. We're going to put this little airflow ring back on the bottom, and I'm going to line it up so I'm getting maximum levels of airflow just like that. Great. Then we can take our pulse, our pulse, our vessel, put it in the pulse. The only problem we may run into is this is not the pulse. This is not the original locking nut from this pulse right here. This is a billet box locking nut because I seem to have completely misplaced the actual pulse locking nut. I'm just hoping this one will work. Seems to be holding it. And I even have a friggin' Tony B21700 for this. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The screen's on the other side. Okay. Uh, okay. Crisis averted. The locking nut worked just fine. So we're just going to fill the front of this up now. And if I'm being honest, look, look at these big 120 mil bottles. This isn't my favorite way to fill up a Boro. Because you can't see shit. Because you can't see shit at all. Oh, you can flood it though. Nah, I didn't go too crazy. Crisis averted. And look at that. Even an Oleg drip tip's going to fit in there. Let's get these panels back on. This is coming together. Yeah, not bad. You know, it, it's a little bulky to be any like sort of elegant or slick or like that. But it's a 21700, so it's going to feel a little bit beefier in the hand. It's honestly not that bad. You got that fire button just right there. Standard pulse style. Pulse Pulse vessel back together at last. I think that's going to be literally all for down here. So uh, let's get back out to normal view. We'll hand out some banana stickers and vap it. So this is a Vandy vape chip and it's kind of a generic, uh, you know, chip. It's a five on five off. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. We can turn it off now. I'm going to have to turn it back on. One, two, three, four, five. Turn it back on. Vandy vape. Very cool. Now you press three clicks. One, two, three. And that's going to allow you to adjust things. You can go from wattage to temp temperature control, titanium, tr temperature control, stainless steel, tr uh, bypass. And then we're to three volts and then we're back to wattage. So it, it can do a whole bunch of stuff if you use temperature control, which I definitely don't. So we're going to put this back in wattage mode, fire the button, lock that in. There is one kind of cool thing you can do, and you can double tap the up down buttons. And that'll sort of like force it to read the resistance. It forces it to check for a new coil. And I just think that's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, I've kind of always liked the Vessel Boro, the the Vessel RBA. I think it I think it vapes really good. Mine seems to be wicking just fine. I'm getting good airflow. The airflow is full open. I'm getting real good flavor. It's a banana flavor in here. I'm looking at Tony B's face on a battery right there. Come on. You probably could stand to turn the wattage up maybe just a little bit on this, but so what do I think of the pulse? 0.5. As a general rule in my life, I'm generally not a big fan of 0.5 things. I kind of feel that you should do a 1 and then make a bunch of improvements and then do a 2. I don't like the idea of a 1 and then one or two improvements and then now it's a 0.5. To be fair, the improvements they have made are pretty notable. Reinforcing this top so it doesn't crack anymore. I mean, everything just feels a little bit more substantial, a little bit nicer fit and finish. There is no play on these doors. Despite this whole thing being plastic, I get no play. No rattle. Uh, maybe a little on there, but honestly, it's not bad at all. I guess my biggest gripe with the Pulse 0.5 is the same gripe I think I had with the original Pulse, and that is it's just big. It's just a little bit big for my tastes, honestly. That vessel is uh, really keeping up well and really tasting nice. And honestly, if my biggest gripe about the Pulse 0.5 is that it's a little bit big, is that it feels a little bit big in my hand, then really, that's nothing. That's There's nothing to blow your nose out there. This is like nine and a half banana stickers, probably. I love a good restricted lung. And since we've only tried the vessel right now at this point, I do want to try out that coil head base tank as well. So I'm going to do my best to get this out of here and keep it sandwiched together so I don't, you know, dump my whole tank, lose all my e-liquid. 
it was already massively, massively stuck to the back, stuck there with e-liquid. Let's put the same exact coil spill, banana liquid, in this. I'm just gonna put maybe two drops of, of liquid right down the coil head. At point two, I'm gonna leave it just at about the same wattage, 31, 32 watts. Cheers. Hey, that, vape, that vape's actually pretty okay. I was expecting it to feel, I don't know, maybe a little bit more like a sub tank. Nice, dense. That's some pretty good flavor right there out of that coil head. There's no like crispiness from that coil head. I'm used to a little bit of crispiness from a coil head. I'm just kind of not getting it out of this, but what I am getting besides a slightly hollow airflow on this coil head is some pretty good flavor. Honest to goodness, real good flavor. If I picked up this piece of kit, I would be very excited that I didn't have to build any coils. I could just put a coil head in there. I could just put a 21700 in there. As long as I had some liquid, I'd be good to go. That, I feel, is the essence of the Pulse 0.5, that you can just use it right out of the box. I can just open this and use it. Oh, the panels are compatible. Radical. And when you get some like uh, other panels on here, the panels are still compatible. Ah, there's a little bit of play on these panels, but it takes down the, the, the hand feel substantially with flat panels on here. There's a little bit of play. That kind of bums me out. Oh, well. Those panels were designed for the Pulse 1, not the Pulse 0 0.5. So I'll give them a little bit of leeway. But the reason I wanted to grab this out is so Look, I'll put my vessel right here. Vessel in the old Pulse, sub tank coil head in the Pulse 0.5. I'm sorry, let's hand out some banana stickers now. I gave the OG Pulse, back when I was on a banana sticker rating scale of one through five, five being the best and one being the worst, and I've never given a one, I gave the original Pulse five full banana stickers. If this is that but improved, I see no reason why this wouldn't get 10 full banana stickers on the new 10 banana sticker scale. Am I being ir irrational here? Am I being illogical here? I don't feel that I am. Everything I thought about the original Pulse, I still think about this Pulse, except this Pulse has been improved, reinforced, strengthened. My vapes. I'm kind of actually thankful today that I built this vessel. Uh, I'm, I'm really very much enjoying it. I kind of forgot how good this bridge is, or RBA is rather. Yeah, it's just still shockingly good flavor on this sub-ohm coil head. Anyway, I think we've reached the end of the video here. I can't do any Aliens game. I can't do any vape budget hands, but I mean, it's the Pulse 0.5. It's known for not being crazy expensive. I'm also going to say this. If you're a person that smokes cigarettes, tobacco cigarettes, hey, maybe you don't need to. There's a world of safer nicotine products out on the market in the description of this video. I'm going to put some links to just science and just education only. This has been a Grim Green video. Stay smoke free every day. <coughs> it's like 1030 and I'm uh, just going to smoke. So.